All right, y'all. Thank you for coming. Since you stopped, you might as well stick around. I'm going to be working on this pile of ash rounds here. Some of it's twisted up. Um, I haven't been doing any splitting in a while. It's, I have been catching up on getting some inventory in. I've gotten, there's a pile of hickory back there. Uh, I've got oak. I've got another pile of hickory right there. Just been kind of working on stuff like that. Sorry, here comes somebody on the side beside. They're going to be stopping any minute. That's some of my people. But uh, anyways, I've been getting getting wood together, getting inventory. And uh, we've been on Florida. We've been on vacation. And so I've been doing that. But, man, I need the bush hog. I need the mow my yard. But the only thing I'm really itching to do is split or run a saw. So I'm going to do some splitting here in a second. I was going to tell y'all, it's, it's a pretty evening here. I'm in northwest Tennessee, and there ain't no breeze blowing at all. It's hot. It's a hot while ago I seen a bird blowing on a worm. <laughs> and I know I've done said that in one of my previous videos, but it's worth repeating because that's how hot it is. But uh, ain't no breeze down here, so I'm, I'm going to plug me up a little fan to my generator and see if that doesn't help things a little bit. And uh, if you've been following along, you'll know this conveyor has given me a little bit of trouble. And I'm not saying I fixed it, but I did find out what was going on on the other side of this. The shaft was a snap ring that I did not realize came out. And what was happening was that shaft was moving over while it was uh, on, and the chain would catch the side of the conveyor and pop off. Well, once the chain popped off, it relieved the tension, and it would go back in place. So it was tough for me to find that problem. Once I found it, I put a, a new snap ring in it and I uh, modified this washer right here. And I'll be darned if it didn't happen again. I didn't even get a quarter of a cord. Uh, so now I put one of these, I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry for the light, but I put a, a three quarter inch push on. I'm not really sure what you call it. Push nut, something like that on there. Let's see if that works. I'm going to be aggravated if it don't. Hey, thank you all for watching. I sure appreciate you liking and even subscribing if it ain't much trouble on so like i said uh my family and i went to panama city beach florida and we were blessed with a, a super good trip uh, safe travels no one was hurt or sick or anything like that and we just thank god for the means and the ability to be able to do that but uh i imagine y'all are like me especially if you're watching this video uh once you're gone a while you get to itching to do things that are uh, that enjoyable to you, you know. And, uh, man, uh, you know, when you're gone a while also, you have things pile up on you. And some of that for me was uh, bush hogging and mowing. I need to spray and just things like that. But, but I pushed pause on that kind of stuff. And uh, <laughs> I was really just wanted to run a saw or run my tractor or split and uh before this video a couple hours before this, this splitting right here i went out to my sister's place i loaded up my tractor and took it out there and she had a big old oak tree fall at her place so i helped clean that up and uh, that was my second trip out there but i helped clean it up and that sort of eased the, the itching if you will uh but it was still there so this is that same day. This is later on in the evening. And, uh, so I cranked up the splitter and got to splitting, and that's what you're watching now. But, uh, so I usually slow down cutting and, and splitting in the dead of summer like it is now, but I still, I just can't go very long without doing it some. You know, I try to pick it in the evenings or in the mornings when I do it, and I usually get more inventory around this time. But I have had several calls, a lot of food truck guys and cooking fellas uh wanting smoking wood a little more than i normally get i don't advertise until the end of summer first of fall and so i've sold a, several ricks you know and that's good i'm, I'm kind of glad to, to go ahead and do that so i don't have a bunch of deliveries to make when i start advertising using this super splitter i mean it's it's enjoyable it's fun especially when the wood is straight and working good and this ash wood just makes super pretty stuff in my opinion, I, I love it. Uh, now, some of this wood was twisted up and 
little tricky to split, and, and not all of them, just some of the pieces. Mostly, I'm just glad I get to uh, do stuff like this and have the health and ability to do it instead of just waiting around when it's comfortable or when I just don't have nothing to do, which is very rare. I just want to get out and, and do it when I can and when I'm not missing too much from my family because the older I get, the more grateful I am for health and ability you know, that God's given me. And uh, Lord willing, that'll continue. But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all liking and subscribing. And I really appreciate your comments. Uh, I've been really surprised at how many positive comments and how many people take the time to do that. So thank each one of y'all. Thank all of y'all for doing that. If I don't get another one, another comment that is, it hadn't been wasted time. I mean, I appreciate it. And, uh, thank y'all again. Y'all stick with me. Thank you once again. And God bless y'all. See you. Other videos, uh, I showed y'all how I started down these quarter of a cords, and I've stacked it out and, and measured it, and it comes to a four by six stack. And now that I've got this conveyor, if, if it will uh, be dependable, I'm going to start selling quarter of a cords, uh, and I won't be stacking. I'm not saying I'm quitting stacking all together, but I'm going to try to go to this and sell it appropriately. I've, I've got enough totes now. I made a video recently also uh, telling how many totes I've got, like over 115 totes. So I don't have to save room by stacking, is what I'm saying. So anyways, what I'll do is kind of nestle this in here, stick them up to where they'll create kind of a basket. 
and uh, I saw Jake on a uh, dude ranch doing this too and uh, man it just it'll hold a little bit more so it's a true quarter of a cord and uh, and I feel better about it and uh, customer too so I'll uh, I'll get it cranked back up and pour a little more into this and and then what I'll do is push my conveyor over to one side possibly and uh, start spilling over into this one.
there it is. Two quarter cords of some pretty ash wood. <laughs> or a half cord, however you want to call it. But uh that's I'm comfortable calling it that. Like I said, I'll uh I'll stop when that thing's almost full and I start losing a few pieces out to the side. Um, and then I'll kind of position them where it'll hold a few more. And like I told you, I mentioned it before, I have checked this and uh, it comes out to a quarter cord. For Done it enough to where I, I don't mind calling it that. But anyways, I like to heap, heap it up just to make sure. And uh, I probably only picked up about five to six pieces on each one of these totes. So it works out good, and my conveyor did not let me down this time. The, uh, the push-on nut must have, it held in place. I checked it, um, and the fan worked pretty good, too, except for it blew dust back in my face a little bit. Now, I did work myself a little harder than I like to because just for a camera angle, I had it here where you could kind of see closer to the wedge just to try to keep videos interesting. It worked me a little harder because I had to push every piece up to the uh, conveyor and it didn't catch the paddles didn't catch it like i like but that's all right that's just part of it trying to split and do youtube and stuff thank y'all for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did let me know leave me a comment if you didn't enjoy it uh <laughs> well sorry thank y'all again see you